Hello. Today is a great day for a miracle. Thank you for taking a walk with us into this world of miracles, where we explore a series of spectacular incidents that took place during the life and times of Jesus Christ. I'm Reverend Ronald Nathan, and I'm the minister at the Hogard Amy Zion Church, Jackson, St. Michael, on the island of Barbados. A miracle is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is due to the presence and actions of God. The miracles of Jesus Christ gives us an insight into Jesus' compassion, his identity, and his future plans. These culminate in our exclamation, Oh my God! So as we explore this miracle of the feeding of the 5,000, let us look at it as a OMG moment. It's found in Matthew 14, verse 15 to 21. And it reads as follows. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away, so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. And then I go to the last two verses, which reads, they all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up twelve basketful of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was about five thousand men, besides women and children. Throughout the Caribbean and even in the United States of America, we are at a point in time where various governments have to present their fiscal plans for the next term or year. In other words, it's budget season. We are hearing that national economies does not seem to have the wherewithal to meet the needs of the nation. Governments normally balance a budget by seeking to anticipate the cost of governing for the particular period. That is, the cost of provision of products and services to the public. The monies to do these things comes from taxes, revenues, and other forms of income-generating activities at the government's disposal. An assessment of the food rations in the first-century Palestine context, which we just read about, reveals that there was only five loaves and two fishes. The need was for enough food to feed 5,000 men plus women and children who were present with them at this time. How does 5 times 2 equal 5,000 plus? The economists in the crowd quickly concluded there was no way they could meet the required food bill. So their conclusion was, send these people away. We have a population problem. Let the market forces apply. Or it could be said, we have a fiscal deficit problem. Or put yet another way, we have a food production problem. The environmentalists could point to climate change, the desertification that had taken place, which resulted in the area around the Sea of Galilee being no longer fit for agriculture. Jesus said to the disciples, Bring the rations to me. There are those who could say the overfishing on the lake was yet another issue for good governance and management of the blue economy or maritime resources. Whatever the cause, there was a major problem with 5,000 men plus women and children needing to eat. And there was only five loaves and two fishes. Today we are faced with pandemic blues, which have moved most of the nations of the world from a health crisis to an economic crisis. How do we balance the books? Jesus said to the disciples, Bring the rations to me. Jesus took what they had, looked 
up to heaven and prayed and then distributed that which was in his hands to the disciples. The leaders of our nation should not be too quick to surrender their responsibility solely to market forces, privatization, or international financial institutions such as the World Bank or the IMF. But they should take some time to call on God, who is merciful, who will send us the wisdom required for a mass miracle. So there you have it. God the Father working the extraordinary through his Son for his praise and glory. God bless you and have a great day.